weather, news, sports, and more. This is the Warrior News, Wilson source for news and information. Broadcasting from Wilson Area High School, the Warrior News starts right now. Good morning, Wilson. We are live in the studio. Today is Wednesday, December 7, 2016. I'm Francisco Aguilar. And I'm Brittany Warren. Let's get to your Warrior News. Today is the 75th anniversary of the Pearl Harbor attacks. This surprise attack on America led us to joining World War II. The day which witnessed the loss of 4,000 lives will forever be known as a day that will live in infamy. And now for your usual. New scholarships are now available in the guidance. The deadline are quickly approaching, so be sure to apply for these opportunities today. Are you interested in a career in the medical field? Are you interested in earning extra money? Part-time help is needed at the Easton Cardiovascular Associates in the Medical Records Department after school. Stop in the guidance for more information if you're interested. The National Honor Society will be holding a bake sale every Friday outside the cafeteria before school. Stop by to purchase delicious homemade baked goods. The NHS will be holding a canned food drive from now until Christmas break. Please donate fresh canned and non-perishable foods and drop them in the collection bin outside of the main office. Any students taking anatomy and physiology next semester who would like to get a head start on content should see Mrs. Bird in room 101 sometime this week to get a textbook and list of course readings. Hey, do you know what, uh, hey Brittany, do you know when it's going to snow? I don't know. Well, you know what does, you know who does? Wilson Weather Authority Chief Meteorologist Caleb Colley. Let's go to him. Good morning everyone, I'm Wilson Weather Authority Chief Meteorologist Caleb Colley here with the very latest on the AccuWeather forecast. For your day today, we're looking at a high temperature going up to around 48 degrees. We'll see mostly cloudy skies. As you can see outside right now, it's pretty dark out there. That's because we have that cloud cover dominating right now, and that's going to take over for pretty much the majority of the day. Then as we get into your overnight tonight, we're looking at a low temperature dropping back to around 31 degrees. We'll see mostly cloudy skies, so those clouds are going to stick around into your overnight hours for your night tonight. Then as we get into your Thursday, we'll have a high temperature of 43 degrees. It will be partly sunny, a little bit more sunnier for your day tomorrow. Then as we get into your Friday, we're looking at a high going up to around 50 degrees. We'll see breezy with sunshine and some patchy clouds here and there. It's definitely going to be overall a nice day for your Friday. But also, we are taking a look at our temperatures cooling. We're going to see a cold front that's right here. That's going to move into our area for your Thursday and uh, for your Friday as well. So through the night on Thursday, we're going to see this, uh, this system kind of just move into our area where we're going to see it kind of dominate for, for your weekend and into the rest of your um, week this week. That's a look at your forecast. Now we're going to head into the sunrise trivia question for this morning. Let's take a look. Your question this morning comes from the presidential category and your question today is, who was the first president of the United States to live in the White House? George Washington, John Adams, Thomas Jefferson, or James Madison? Ant uh, anchors? I'm going to go with Adams. Yeah, I'm going to go with what she said. All right. And the correct answer for your Sunrise Trivia is John Adams. He moved in in 1800 after the White House was constructed. George Washington was not in the White House at all during his presidency because that was during the construction period of the White House. Thank you, guys. Now back to the desk. Thanks, Caleb. Attention all current juniors looking for a great opportunity to earn college credits. Northampton Community College is now offering juniors with a grade point average of 3.0 the chance to take an online college course worth three co college credits starting in January 2017. Please stop by guidance for course offerings and to get an application as soon as possible. All applications must be returned by Friday. And now we get to send you over to our great science teacher, Mr. G, with a lesson on inertia. Science. Hi, uh, Mr. Grabowski, Mr. G, and welcome to your physics fun for the day. Most people believe to keep something moving, you have to continuously push it. That's because we're fighting something known as the force of friction, and I'll show you what I mean by that. If I put our little toy here on the floor and give it a simple push, we see it slide to rest immediately. If there were perhaps some way where we could eliminate friction, then I wouldn't have to continuously push it. Let's look at this again. If I continuously push, the toy moves. Once I stop pushing, it stops. Well, 
we have a few choices here. We could spray the floor with some magic oil and perhaps the toy would slide across the oil without being pushed. That would be a little bit of a hazard for the students coming in and out. But it turns out this is a hovercraft. There's a little fan. I'm sure you can hear that. And what we're going to do is suspend we we'll suspend our little toy on a cushion of air so there's essentially no friction between the floor and the results are quite different. So fan on, here we go. Cameraman, I'm going to ask you to back up and the results are completely different with one little push. There she goes. And then back to me. And this is the hovercraft principle. And if you ask any of my physics students how they explain the fact that the toy could go forever without being pushed, they better say the magic word, inertia. Before we go today, we want to wish you all a happy National Cotton Candy Day. That's all we have for you today, Wilson. Be sure to follow the Warrior News on Instagram and Twitter at Warrior News 15. I'm Francisco. And I'm Brittany Warren. Have a great day. Oh, come in.